Me name's John, welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. The first thing I'm going to do is the draw for the 2 to 3 inch one right micrometer. I'm home alone this week, my wife's on holiday in Lanzarote, so I've got the house to myself. Uh, so I have spent quite a bit of time in the shop. And some names come in, 40 or 50 names came in this week, so we're doing a good stir up. Get them all together, stuff from the bottom. Pick a name out. There's one. Right, there's no way I could possibly pronounce that. Tamazin, Review Chomp, that could be anything. Right, that's it there. That certain isn't an English name. Okay, so all you've got to do is send me an email with your address and I'll post that micrometer off to you anywhere in the world completely free of charge. I'm going to do one of giveaway this week. This time it's going to be for one of my double boost hats as well as a double boost coffee mug. All you need to do if you want to have a go at winning one is send me in an email containing your name, your full name like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, you'll get these posted off completely free anywhere in the world. As I keep saying, it's just a little bit, a bit thank you, a bit give back from me. Anyway, certainly well worth winning. I've had quite a few people ask uh, how my friend Bob is, because he's done me on the videos for quite some time. Bob's fine. He was actually up on Wednesday night. Uh, we did some video. He put that mechanical indicator back together. I got some good video of that, and I'm going to do a little bit of showing how it's used on the lathe in producer video, possibly middle of this week. Touch it off. Get twenty of it to start with. This looks better. Okay, so that's actually Fanny's hair uh, over an inch and a half. What we need to do now is pick up the thread. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to start the lathe up, engage the lead screw. Right, stop the lathe. If I wind it in, you can see the tool isn't going to go into the into the thread. So what I can do, I can move the compound slide forward and jiggle around until it does go in. That looks pretty good there. We'll wind it back out. So we've got a bit more time to clear. Right, stop it again. Right, wind that in, and that is picking the, it's picking the same thread up. So I can zero the cross slide at that, take it out. So I'm going to the lathe, back to zero, forward again. And hopefully 
it should pick that straight up. We'll soon find out. Yeah, up there. Make sure that's how you can pick it straight up and pull yourself out of the shite when you haven't been paying attention. Just a hole here, that's a chuck off me. The vein here, and that's at the factory back here, so that's take one more cut on the same setting, and then we'll set up that. Set up that. Definitely. Yeah, just for a laugh, we'll have a we'll clock your job here. And that's not bad. We'll put it on the truck. That's not bad at all. I'll put some in the chuck and we'll try that just out of, out of interest really. I haven't actually checked the rule on this chuck before because it come on a, a dividing head that I use. It's got about 4,000, that's not bad for a, a 3 jewel chuck. Especially when it's had as much abuse as this one is.
Right, so I'm happy with the thread. The next thing I need to do is turn that end down to dead on one and a half inch, which will be the the gauge for the actual In last week's video I showed setting this micrometer up uh, using a, a test piece. I actually had the test piece in that way around, I'm not quite sure what I was doing, but I'm looking at the top of a camera. But I can assure you when you put it in that way around, you get exactly the same result, which is zero. That's one inch that way. And we're going to make from it up. We'll put it in that way. All I was looking at was a 25 on the spindle, which is there. And so we've got zero that way. Exactly the same reading. So zero there. But the proper way to do it obviously is on the on the one inch part of it. And so we use a ratchet and that's bang on bang on zero so that it is reading the right size. And it's just because I can here's a two inch one. Two inch one. Once again exactly the same reading. Zero. Quite a few people did comment on that and probably right this way. The thirty thousand to come off that to get it down to size. Get it to ten thousand cut. Ten thousand cut. You take twenty of it. Right, in the corner of that, that's 15 thou go over we're going to make commentary in the clear, which is a lot wider than the, the vernier clamp Right, the front of the microphone that we are five thou of our size. The front of the Vernia clamp, four and a half, five thou. Right, we'll put a two thou cut on the wood. I wonder. Right, so that's a that's a test piece. We've got the eight TPI thread and we've got the one point five inch register. See, I did have one of these and I give it away.
I think they look quite decent obviously the, the little legs are bent up and that's where you hang your keys I think it's all that one these can be painted black but personally I'll just spray them with lacquer and leave them metal colour I say if anybody wants a one just send us an email we'll be able to sort something out 